So what we hear a lot of people talk about who have visual snow and they mention non-visual symptoms, probably one of the most common um, are people who uh, experience a lot of, I think in my practice, a lot of anxiety and depression. There are multiple non-visual symptoms, but that is really the one that really impairs quality of life. But other non-visual symptoms can include a sense of imbalance, um, tremors, uh, what we term brain fog, which is sort of a lack of clarity in their thinking. And sometimes people will also experience other sensory symptoms, almost like a uh, sensory overload. So they'll experience tinnitus or ringing in their ears, and sometimes what we call somatosensory symptoms, which are skin sensations. They feel uh, not necessarily just tingling, but somehow feel as if something's on their skin or stimulating their skin. So it can be a whole host of non-visual symptoms that people will experience as well, but I think the, the one that can be the most disabling is typically the anxiety or depression that can happen uh, associated with visual snow.